welcome to we teach so now in this session we'll discuss about one more concept which is called local search algorithms and optimization problems so now so far we have seen various uh, informed and uninformed search strategies so maybe in all those algorithms what we have done is we started searching for a solution from the root node to the goal node either by using some data structure or else by finding out the best path or else by performing some process in order to find out a best path. So that is what we have done so far in any of the searching strategies. Now all these are considered as a classical problems, classical searching techniques. Now we'll discuss the other type of search problems to find out a solution for a given problem in AI. So those problems we call it as local search problems or else local search algorithms and how do you optimize that in order to uh, find out a solution for a given problem in with less time. So those are considered as optimization problems, right? So now the informed and uninformed search expands the node systematically in two ways. So as we discussed earlier, the first way is keeping different paths in the memory. If you remember, maybe we have discussed about BFS algorithm and DFS algorithm where they have used stacks and queues data structure in order to uh, store each and every state to find out a solution. And all the time what we have done with, with those, in those algorithms is we just we just try to find out a path from root node to the goal node. So how, how do you find a best suitable path for a given problem? So these are the things that we have done in informed and uninformed search strategies. So now compared to these classical search algorithms, all those algorithms are considered as classical search algorithms. So compared to these classical search algorithms, we have some other types of algorithms which we call it as local search algorithms. So what do we do in these algorithms? We try to find out the path cost where the path cost is not mandatory in local search algorithms. But we only focus on the solution state that is needed to reach the goal node. That is, we will not talk about the cost, how much cost it has taken to find out a solution. That is not mandatory. Only thing is to find a solution for a given problem at that particular point of time is very, very important. And that is what we do in local search algorithms. So a local search algorithm will complete its task by how by traversing on a single single current node rather than multiple paths and following the neighbors of that node generally so for these particular algorithms here we have some so right although local search algorithms are not systematic we just start finding out a solution by randomly picking one data point from a search space and then perform the searching process so that is what we do in local search algorithms so as they are not considered to be systematic, they still have the following two advantages. So what are the two advantages we have? The first one is local search algorithms will be using a very little and constant amount of memory. So when we use a very little memory, the almost the space complexity that will take for these types of algorithms will be less compared to informed and uninformed search strategies which we have discussed so far. And one more thing is they find a reasonable solution in a large or infinite state spaces. So as we already know, maybe in informed and uninformed search strategies, they will be able to, all those algorithms will be able to find out a solution when the search space is less. But this is the algorithm where, where you can find out a solution even though your search space is very, very large. The best example, suppose consider I have just dropped a coin. So if I just drop a coin in a park and ask you to search that particular coin throughout the park, it will be actually tough. So in that cases, maybe if that is the context or if that is the example uh, to perform search process, in that cases, a normal informed and uninformed search strategies will not work in those types of problems. So now I'll ask robot to search for a coin which is present which is just thrown in the lawn of a park. So in that case is what, what a robot will do is the robot randomly picks the location which is present at different different locations and it will just randomly pick one location and start searching uh, for the coin at that particular point of time. So in this in this types of problems, if this is your problem and if this is your search problem in that cases, 
your uh, uh, local search problems and optimization problems will work better when compared to informed and uninformed search strategies. So similarly, if I drop a coin within a room and ask the robot to search for that particular coin, maybe in that cases, as the size of the room is very small, maybe your informed and uninformed search strategies will work better, right? Um, if similarly, if I throw a coin in the lawn of a park, in that cases, your local and optimization algorithms will only work better in order to find out the search process. And that is what is given in the second advantage. So they find a reasonable solution in large or infinite state spaces where the classical or systematic algorithms will not work at all. In those cases, only your local and optimization algorithms will only wo work better if your search space is extremely large and that is the advantage of your local search algorithm. So let's see what is the working of this local search algorithm. So how do you have the searching process will usually start. So the working of local search algorithm, let's see with an example now. So consider the below is state space landscape having both location and elevation. So what do you mean by location here? Location is nothing but the state that we consider for a given problem. Elevation, it is defined by the value of the objective function or a heuristic cost function. So maybe in artificial intelligence or else in any machine learning applications, what will happen is every model of your, every computational model of your artificial intelligence will have some objective function. So that objective function is also considered during this local search problems and optimization problems. And here in order to perform this local search algorithms, they explore the landscape, that is they explore the space. What is landscape here? Landscape is nothing but the state space that we consider in order to perform a search process. So they will explore the search space by finding out the following two points. First one is global minima value and second one is global maxima value. So what is global minima value and what is global maxima value? So global minima value will work for minimization problems and global maxima value will work from maximization problems. Suppose if I consider to ask the robot to move from one location to another location, maybe it should move from one state or else one country to another country with, within a less time and within a less cost. So cost should always be less. How much cost we put uh, on a particular machine to, to move from one place to another place, that should be minimized here. That should not be a maximization problem. So that is what it is given here. If the elevation corresponds to the cost. So elevation is something like a function that we consider. So if it is something related to the cost, then the task is to find the lowest valley. So we will see what is this valley, is how that curves will be maybe in the next uh, two minutes, right? So that in that cases, we will be trying to find out the global minima value. But if in case my objective function is to find out profits for a given company, so profit should be increased or decreased. It should be increased, right? So in that cases, we will we should expect for a maximum value. So if the elevation corresponds to an objective function, so here my objective, every time in AI or else in machine learning or else in deep learning, objective function is nothing but any equation which represents your model and any equation which will try to minimize the cost or else maximize the profit. So that is nothing but a simple equation that we consider. So depending upon the problem, the objective equation will change, right? So now with the help of this local search algorithms and optimization algorithms, what we do is we need to minimize the error that is present in that particular objective function, right? So if the elevation corresponds to the objective function, in that cases, we try to find out the highest peak. So here, the objective function here may be something which is related to the profits. I just need to increase the profits or else if it is something related to student marks. So here I need to increase student marks in that maybe in that context student marks should not be minimized. So if there is an improvement, improvement by SEM by SEM, the marks of a student should increase. So that is what is called a maximization problem here. So right. So this, these are the different two points that are to be considered 
while you are performing local search algorithms and this is the diagram that represents it so what is this ups and downs here here this is a search space and this will be the objective function so what do you mean by objective function objective function is nothing but it will be something like this sigma i is equal to 0 to some n or else capital n you can consider and it is something actual value minus predicted value either you can take it squared value or else absolute value either you can define like this 0 to n actual value minus predicted value like this you can define or else you can define like this so these can be the objective functions how you write for any problem so depending upon the requirement depending upon the problem we will add some extra terms so that depends on the problem actually right so this object the value that you get from this particular equation should be either minimized or else maximized maximized and it depends upon the problem that we consider right so now see here if i represent the entire search space and the values for the objective function i got a curve like this right so i have some ups and downs i have cruffs and tufts here so now if you observe i have one top here and i have one more top here so if there are more ups and downs in that cases you need to find out the global maxima value or else global minima value so in this cases it is a maximization problem so i am using the terms called global maxi maximum right so now here i will be finding global maxima suppose if you have only one so that will be the local one and that is the local maxima value right so this is at this particular region this is maximum that is the reason why we have represented is it as local maxima and if you consider this entire graph so you have two ups and downs so this is considered as global uh, global maxima value right so this is how you represent so now in order to perform this local search algorithms we have all this four algorithms so hill climbing is one type of a local search algorithm or optimization algorithm simulated annealing is also a local or optimization algorithm local beam search genetic algorithm all these are the different types of local search and optimization problems and now we will see uh, one by one what is the algorithm one by one so we'll see hill climbing and slowly simulated annealing so this is about this is the introduction related to local uh, search algorithms and optimization techniques thank you